Okay, so I'm over here by um, Publix, but I'm by North Cab Mall, and I'm about to go to the mall or whatever and just chill over here for a little bit. Um, God was showing me something about the malls, that they would be trying to allow people to do setups in their malls, knowing that I was homeless and that I go to the malls sometimes to try to stay out of trouble. Um, so it's like they're trying to bring trouble to me. They're trying to um, do racist shit to me. And I was just laughing because... I'm sitting over here watching these grown ass black women and people, every person that's come around the corner got on like a blue or something red. So you know what a crip is or whatever. And you know what a blood is. So they basically showing their allegiance to white America. Like, oh, one of ours got hurt. Now that you don't, you ain't gonna see nobody coming out of Woodward like that if these people kill a black person. So here's a, a black woman, she coming with her uh, crib song. White dude just walked past with his crib song. Uh, right before that, two seconds before that, a uh, black woman right over here with her blood song. She got her blood mask on next to me. Then in, uh, this uh, Hispanic man walked past, Hispanic woman walked past with her little blood crib looking shirt on. Um, then another uh, woman walked past with her blood shoes on. Here going, man, he got on uh, his little blood and crib. So basically, it, it's not <clears throat> really rivals, you know what I'm saying? They basically just serving a white man, you know what I'm saying? And the feeling like, oh, if he send us at you, then we just gonna come at you regardless, you know what I'm saying? Because these white folks is sending us at you. And then the white folks, uh, you'll see some of them with the black and white on. You know what I'm saying? But see, it's an evil alliance. It's You have to denounce Jesus Christ. That's what type of alliance it is. And then say that you worship the white men. So that's where their alliance is. So the black men that you see these whites cool with, no. They worship them. They worship in the whites. That's the only reason why the whites is cool with them. You know what I'm saying? And then they got to have a front because they want it to be a secret society. And the only secret about it is that everybody worships the white people. So the white people worship themselves. The white man worship himself. Um, they worship their children. And they'll be cool with all ethnicity of people that come around them as long as you worship them. You see what I'm saying? And it's a lot of derogatory shit that they expect for you to allow to happen to your people and allow your people to be portrayed in the media. They don't expect you to say anything um, in their society about what they do. Um, and then that's a part of the worship. Um, and when God opened up my eyes, like, their black people could have progressed a lot further um, in America than what we have um, than to allow those to allow blacks to cause us to roll back, you know. And But this is how it has been for a long time. But God was showing me that the spirit still could have been defeated. And now they just walking around so possessed, sitting out here trying to help kill me for white people. And it, it's like, it's such, it's the most evil feeling in the world to see a white witch just walk past me like, uh, yeah, we're KKK and yeah, we got your people out here all demonically possessed, ready to attack you for us because you shot a white person and you're going to get killed on this soil. And my God, I already done condemned her. My God done already done condemned her, white man. My God done already condemned her. however many white folk y'all think you can have try to intimidate me and surround me looking like Klansmen. However many black people you gonna go get to try to mean mug me and roll up on me. So they got gangs just rolling up on me back to back to back to back to back. They in their cars. I'll show you right here, right now. That's gangs, them gangs. And they swarming all around me. And they expect me to film them doing this dumb shit. But I'm not finna do it. And uh, he, the one in it right here sitting in the front, got on Crips. And they just worship white people. And I'm glad I got to expose that. Um, all that damn um, Black Lives Matter bullshit. All that goddamn uh, Shaka Zulu shit they like to show. All that, man, fuck all that. These people worship white people. And God said he's tired of it. And see, I think God wanted me to understand what really was going on in his world, in his country, in his earth. See, Satan built the world, but God built the earth. So God, I feel like before God destroyed whatever it is that he about to destroy, whenever he decided to do it, I believe that, I mean, he bringing me out of the troubles that they done put me in, but he also letting me see the bondage that these people done had me in my entire life and also allowing me to see the bondage that they in. You know what I'm saying? That I didn't realize that was in. Why so many people felt like Andrea is so naive. Andrea is so stupid. You know, because, yeah, I guess I am kind of stupid. I guess I am kind of naive. I guess I am. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't realize all of that was going on. You know, 
And I understand why God was saying that he is still my child. I understand what kingdom he come from. I understand where his father's bloodline come from. But his mother is African and Indian. That's what God said. God said his mother is African and Indian. And because of my bloodline, he is who I am. His mother is African and Indian. So you can take him into your kingdom. That's what God said. But God said, don't kill him. You know what I'm saying? Because of whatever happened. Don't kill him for anything. Don't kill him. Take him into your kingdom, but don't kill him. And God said he better be alive. Because there's been a lot going on. And these are some very hateful people. Um, very wicked. And they don't care about uh, little black children like that. And God knows that they don't. And he knows what they do. He knows that they will kill him. That's why God told them, don't kill him. And then God said again, uh, uh, when I was at the Salvation Army, when they were staging the stuff at the Salvation Army, um, when the black girls was crying because they were saying that they knew that Cynthia was a pedophile, uh, I said, I'm, I'm finished in this evidence and I'm going out there. And God said, he better be alive. Meaning, don't whatever you might even be thinking about doing to him. God was like, these people are so wicked. Well, they think they can do something to him and still think nobody not going to do nothing. And God said he better be alive. And that was coming from God. So God know that they will go against him. That's how Satan is. That's how the enemy is. And that's how his children is. They feel like they can go against God. So when God told them already when they had me in that jail, don't kill my son, that's what he meant. And then when he turned around, when they staged to have me kicked out of the Salvation Army, he said he better be alive. Meaning, don't you try anything, you devils, with with her son. Because y'all know she love that boy. And y'all know that you threaten to hurt him. And you know you threaten to do all sorts of things to the boy. Trying to, uh, you know, be wicked. Just being wicked. And God said he better be alive. So um, I got a dude just, just walked past me and he got his crips on. It's a white woman over here. She got her bloods on. You know what I'm saying? And then some of the people uh, will act normal like they won't wear the color, but they'll still do the harassment. God did let me know that the devil's children have charges and that people want to try to turn me over to the grave to try to get some damn charges dropped. Well, if she got DUI, then bitch, you going to jail. If you got a goddamn disturbing the peace, then nigga, you out of there too. Ain't no goddamn you going to turn my life over because you got drunk behind the wheel. And there go another lady with her crips on. You know what I'm saying? They, man, I ain't. I ain't. He, God told them they got charges. That the devil think he's slick. Nah, God told me the truth that they rocking around with charges, so they got criminals around me, people that's guilty of shit, you know what I'm saying, that would love to just hand me over to the devil, you know what I'm saying, to have me somewhere in the damn cell with killers and murderers outside, like the cell, like the correctional guards. Nah, hell no, nah. and they don't want to go in there with them devils. See, I got my camera facing me. These motherfuckers don't know if I'm facing them or not. They all moving around. Everybody getting the fuck on the lady over there. Everybody, but I'm not filming them. I'm filming me. That's crazy. And then they don't want to get put on camera. But anyway, um, I wouldn't be wanting to be put on camera either because what if that baby do end up all right? What if they do make it out? Then we all did this shit to her. I know why they don't want to be put on camera. Because it can go either way. And God already told me. He was like, we're going to make it out. But Satan is fighting hard because he's like, I don't want none of God's prophecies to come true. Nothing that God, nothing that she done said that God said going to happen. You make sure that it don't. So that's what they out here doing. Trying to make sure me and their baby don't make it out of Atlanta. And they sure that we don't make it out of one together. You know what I'm saying? Like, we came here together. We don't make it out together. It's my baby, man. For real. I want my baby. I'm with wicked ass folk with my child. Said they're lying all this damn time. Uh, he got another dude with his bloods on. So, nah, ain't this lady with her crips on. That's why they running. Cause they, I ain't filming them. No, it's cool. Because I ain't trying to get my channel taken down. And then she got on her bloods. He got on his crips. She got on her bloods. And then the white folk, all they got to do is just walk past you and be white. And you already know what time it is. Um, so, I ain't worried about that. So, I'm going to end up going. But I just wanted to uh, go to the mall. But I just wanted to say something about um, being outside and being with the children of God. And being in the battle with God. But being have to be left outside. And then by the weekend. And I said, you know, it's better to go on hand and just be outside with God. And the battle than to be in the house with the wicked. All they stuff, and there go another dude, black man with blood stuff on. You know what I'm saying? And they want to make me snap on one of them and hurt one of them. But then I end up getting a charge, and they going to jump me and kill this baby. And they going to have to kill me after this shit. 
you know, if you think you're going to be jumping on me and killing my baby, that y'all done lied about, oh, that was another thing God was saying, uh, was that they didn't confirm my pregnancy. So they got people out here basically think they could just kill my baby or steal my baby and didn't even, or accuse me of something concerning my pregnancy, and they lied about my pregnancy. I'll show you how dangerous that is to leave me in a country full of devils where they lied and said that I wasn't pregnant and then all these people chasing me around trying to hurt the baby and then YouTube is showing me that I can't even upload when somebody run up on me and the baby. I can't even show the proof of anything that they done did. Um, but I'm not worried about that. They even got their children uh, in gang colors. And see, it's like they be having events and stuff going on in town. So sometimes it could be very subliminal when they come around you with their little gang colors because they can make it seem like, oh, we're going to some sports stuff or, you know, it's a holiday or it's just the Independence Day or Labor Day. But either way, it's still the spirit of racism um, in America. So um, they uh, talk about, oh, she the first black woman to shoot a white man in America. So we're going to kill her and we're going to do all this stuff to her baby. You know, that's what they said when I was in the jail cell. And then, so that's why they leaving me outside um, by myself. And then they got my own family uh, trying to slander me um, and say stuff about me. And then I got to get into my visions, y'all, because they don't want me to tell my visions. And I'm so excited about it. Um, they're going to keep coming around me. But depart from me, ye evil doers that I may keep the commandments of my God. And see, I love that verse because like, if I had some kind of power, like just to like put my hand and make the ass get back, like zzz, like some kind of sh something to shock the ass that just come out of my hand when they come around me, depart from me. And then just make the ass fly all the way across the goddamn earth. You know what I'm saying? I would, you know what I'm saying? Like I would love to do that shit all day long. You know what I'm saying? But I know that'd be wrong because then they'll be coming at me full force. Like, yeah, you know, and then I have to have a whole protective shield and then blow all that ass up. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, only while they was attacking me. You know what I'm saying? I say a protective shield. That mean you'll have to hide, you'll have to hop on me. You'll have to try to jump on me and the shield will come. And if you on top of that shield, that mean you tried to harm me and I got every right to do like this whole like heavenly blast. You know what I'm saying? Of just, just God, you know what I'm saying? Just like get the fuck away from her, all you wicked ass people. And she is tired of it. And this time you're not gonna come back. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of shield that I need. Every time a wicked person come trying to do anything to me, that there is some sort of shield or some sort of power that neutralizes anything that they trying to do. You know what I'm saying? And um, they think they gonna stalk me, like, you know, try to make me worship white people. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. I am mad at white people for what pi white people they did. Don't put your motherfucking hands on me. You're not gonna teach me no motherfucking lesson. And you're not gonna kill me for no shit. And then tell, come on, tell the fucking truth. Do a global announcement. We are the United States of America. And we would like to send a memo out to every black person in the entire world that we are over here all chasing around this pregnant black woman named Andrea Jones because her baby daddy was attacking her and her 22 month old baby and she shot him in self-defense. So we're all chasing her around and leaving her outside and we're trying to murder her and we also threatened to mutilate and rape her 22 month old baby when she was in the jail. Is there anybody, anybody who would have anything to say before we continue chasing this woman around like fucking clowns? I don't think they would send that memo out to every black person in the world, and I think that's exactly why they tried to hide my shit and shut down my shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, so anyway, let me go ahead and get to going where I gotta go because I actually have my evidence and I actually can present my evidence like I were in a courtroom, in those fraudulent ass courtrooms, but I'm going to present my evidence uh, like I, under heaven, under heaven. I, fuck the courtroom. I'll present my evidence in front of the entire uh, earth. That's just how we can do it.